Hey, good morning. This is Ruben at Vale Creek Farm, and today I'm wiring a uh, section of my electric fence, so I just want to show some details of that. So here I have the braces I've made out of a six inch post on the right there, and then the other two posts are four inches, and I have them attached with a double figure eight on this brace wire. It goes around. And then I have five wires there and I'm insulating all of them just so I have the flexibility of running whatever combination of the wires I want as time goes on. And the bottom one here I have about seven inches off the ground here. And then nine inches above that one for the second. And then the third, fourth, and fifth are 12 inches apart from there. So I tried to give myself flexibility of using these for different kind of livestock and keeping different animals in at different needs as I go on because I don't know exactly what kind of animals I'm going to have in here yet so I just wanted that flexibility and I'm using these PVC timeless fence posts they have the holes drilled through them already and they put them every three inches so when you're running the wire, you just pull it through, run it through whatever hole you want with the spacing you want, and then go on to the next one so you don't put any clips or insulators on there. Makes it pretty nice. Something that I've found that I like to do is I put the spinning jenny up on the back of my truck, and it keeps it off the ground and kind of makes it easier to unravel, to unreel. I had it on the ground the first time I tried, and... Uh, it was too close to the ground. It was getting caught up in grass and and dirt and debris and stuff like that. So I found just by having it up there, it unrolls a lot smoother, makes it a lot easier to use. So I just attach a little insulator on here with a two inch fence staple. I slide a little piece of insulator on here that goes down on this side. So when it's tightened, My electrified, my electrified wire doesn't touch the, the brace wire that keeps it from grounding out. Right, it's pretty tight so I learned some things on doing this run of fence I designed this with three corners in it one over there one way down there and then one over there it's about a thousand foot run and the first two corners were pretty easy to pull the wire around but then by the time I got to the third corner it took all the power I had to pull the line through and it was pretty hard uh, I wish I would have just done designed to do two corners at max well 
Well, that's about all the fencing for today. It's getting a bit cold and blustery out, so I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching.